That is so cool. Oh my god. to know what lies ahead of us. All of us are so curious to know what's in the future. But guess who's walking ahead of the curve and giving us a glimpse into this futuristic world which sits at the heart of Dubai. Welcome to the Museum of the Future. This is the most beautiful building in the world. Shaped like an eye with a hollowed out middle, the Museum of the Future has a unique design and covers an area of 30,000 square meters and is 7 stories standing at 77 meter high. On it, there is beautiful Arabic calligraphy which are quotes about the future written by Sheikh Mohammed. Let's first talk about its location. The museum sits just in front of Emirates Towers looming high over the city's driverless metro system. This building has literally zero corners and zero columns. It took about six years to build this, but whether it's worth the hype or not, let's go in and find out. First things first, you have to book the ticket online and way in advance. I booked the ticket 15 days prior to finally get a glimpse into the future today. The ticket goes for 145 dirhams. Now, I can't wait to see this place, so let's go. The museum is divided into seven floors, or let's just say four chapters. Meet a virtual avatar guide named Aya. She explains the entire process and accompanies you throughout. You are told that you're in the year 2071, where your journey begins with the space shuttle elevator shooting off with the countdown and slight movements to make it realistic. Watch videos of space that make you feel like you're actually leaving planet Earth and entering into space. Once you've landed, you are welcome into the space station's command center. Here, you get to experience a solar system and also get to apply to become a special space pioneer. At the end of this chapter, you are going back to planet Earth. Once you are back on Earth, you enter chapter 2, the Heal Institute. Discover all about the Amazon and its ecological system. And that's what you see around you and on the screen, the beautiful Amazon. Guys, this is so beautiful. I wish you guys could come in here and check this out. Gorgeous. The DNA lab, which is truly one of a kind. Each species is kept in a jar with a kaleidoscopic rainbow that just makes everything look unlike anything you've ever seen. Oh my god, look at this you guys. This place has DNA samples of over 2,400 species. Now isn't that the coolest thing you've heard? Since we are in 2071, we are unaware of how the environment or weather would be like. Hence, we need to look after it and learn more about the Earth's different ecological systems. We must do everything we can to ensure no species end up going extinct. Now we're headed to Chapter 3, Alwaha. Here, you get to truly disconnect from technology and reconnect with your body, mind and soul. It's difficult for majority of us to focus on ourselves, but this place ensures to do exactly that, from walking on the movement therapy to really feeling your senses in the boots. And lastly, to actually meditating. All of these help us focus on our senses in different ways to reawaken them. Towards the end of this chapter, you also get to make a wish. Like I said, 
said things I've never seen before. This chapter is home to the craziest tech innovations. I am on level 2 which is called Tomorrow Today and this place is where all the crazy stuff happens. The craziest innovations, craziest gadgets you've ever seen. I've literally seen a mechanical arm. Insane. I've seen flying drones and also a cyber dog that I've literally never heard of. Alright you guys, I need to show you something really cool. Over here, we have this cyber dog. Now this thing, as it looks, I've never seen anything like it. This cyber dog basically is equipped with cameras, touch sensors, ultrasonic sensors. It also reacts to the environment. It's like a tech genius. Guys, look where I am. I'm at the viewing deck of the museum. On the same level as chapter 4 is the famous viewing deck with spectacular views of one side being the Sheikh Zayed Road and the other side with Emirates Towers. The platform opens into the center of the museum structure and gives you up close views of the immaculate architecture and design of the museum of the future. This entire level is dedicated to our future heroes. Here they get to participate in missions, do problem solving, learn and also just be kids. Wow, if the future looks like this, I cannot wait to get there. This has been quite an experience. I actually wish they had a hotel here. I really don't want to leave. But before they literally throw me out of here, make sure you guys go follow Curly Tales me on Instagram. We promise to bring you the best travel and food recommendations. And until then, this is Tabasif signing.